We are here. We're about oh, 30 miles west of uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Still doing Iowa derecho storm cleanup. I got Ann with me. Ann's been volunteering for what? Not two weeks. A, a, well, about a week. Yeah, I came down. Um, I live out in Washington State, and I actually was born and raised in the Midwest, and was back helping family and. You know, had some downtime and got online and said, how can I help um, with the cleanup of, of, you know, after the storm in Iowa when I heard about how bad it was. And I got online and uh, on their, the local United Way website had uh, this group go serve on there and that they were working out of Keystone. And uh, because I've worked in rural most of my life and I've been involved in farming and agriculture, I really wanted to work, out, work with a group that was helping farmers and working in small small towns and rural areas so I came down last week to help out and I've been dragging brush working with the guys uh, cutting taking down trees cleaning up sheet metal you name it <laughs> yeah. Good work. yeah you can talk about the other organization where that's mm -hmm. partnering we're two organizations here working together yeah it's a fellowship of Christian farmers is that yep and they you know gave you a shirt and said come on in you know really fabulous working opportunity it was really wonderful I was the only woman here, but I'll tell you what, working alongside these guys, um, the dads, the sons, the, the grandfathers, was really wonderful to see everybody pitching in and working together, um, helping out farmers that are normally super busy people, and they just need an extra hand, especially this time of year when we're getting close to harvest. So, so what motivated you to seek out um, an opportunity to help? Um, you know, I grew up. Uh, I, I grew up in a small farming community in Wisconsin, and I was just raised that you pitch in and help out whenever somebody needs it. And you know, having gone through some tough stuff in my own life, I know what it's like when you lose things and you need people there to kind of clean up and just be there with you. So, can you explain to people a little bit about your experience? What's it like to come help at a disaster site, working with ghosts? Or in well, yeah, it's it's pretty moving. You know, to really see the damage and to see how much work it takes to clean up. And I think, you know, talking to some of the, the farmers and hearing their experiences of living through the storm and not being able to get to family and how frightening it was um, really makes you think about uh, what people go through. And you want to be here to help them, like I said, not just cleaning up the stuff, but just to kind of show emotional support and, and spiritual support for them. So can you tell us uh, maybe a story or two that was meaningful, something specific that you experienced that you'll take away from this? Um, I think for me, it was really watching all of the, the, the men working together and just, you know, trusting the, the young men to step in and use some of this equipment and do a good job with it, helping each other out. Uh, and also, I think the stories of a couple of the farmers that I talked to and, and how really appreciative they were of us just pitching in and helping them out. So one of the things that GoServe talks a lot about is having heavy equipment, now, skid loaders, even an ex smaller excavator, stuff like that. Do you see value in that? And why? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we could not have done it. In fact, we could, probably could have used another skid loader. So those of you out there, if you have one, I mean, this, you know, they need equipment. They need saws. We need the, the the equipment that we can keep these, you know, chainsaws running and sharpened all the time. But yeah, definitely some equipment, places for everybody to stay. They they had a trailer for everyone, and I had my own RV. But um, yeah, all this stuff is really helpful. And when you see how fast we can get stuff cleaned up at places, uh, we can get a lot done. And with the right equipment, I think um, we can do more. Well, thank you, Ann. I appreciate you volunteering. You, uh, people like you that you know, make this possible. So. It was great, and uh, it was it was a wonderful experience, and I'm absolutely happy that I came down to help out. Thanks, Ann.